You are now watching Hey Jude. Hey, what's up guys? It's your favorite one and done connoisseur here once again. Hey Jude, and we're gonna go ahead and continue the grind in rank, but before we get into that, I see a lot of people asking for live commentary. I do want to let you guys know that unfortunately, I'm not able to do live commentary. I do not have the computer hardware to, to make that possible. I am in the process of saving up to actually build my own PC, but as of right now, I just don't got it guys, which is why I do the commentary the way that I do over replays where you know I just give my secondary commentary. I'm giving you guys the best version of matches in commentary that I can. Hopefully you guys can, you know, bear with me for now. But yeah, guys, that's why I don't actually do live commentary at the moment. Now, I am still in that phase of a trial period. So if you guys do want to see more gameplay matches, as I've said before, make sure you mash the like button and you leave a comment below letting me know as that's how I'm gauging the interest. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the matches. Getting started, let's go ahead and take a look at his team. Uh, first off, Android 18 and Trunks, two characters you don't really see too much in today's, you know, gaming age of uh, of fighters. And just a quick note, if you saw there, I did the side switch with Trunks. Trunks has probably the easiest side switch in the game by using his flip after sending them up with the 2H. Just in case you guys may not be familiar with that. And I go ahead and jump into that level 3 for the level 3 Oki. Trunks has the most damaging level 3 in the game. And uh, the Yoki isn't too bad either. And that's Android 18 getting out of there. But yeah, like I said, I was saying before, Android 18 and Trunks, two of the characters that you don't really see too much in the game. Uh, Trunks, uh, one of my favorites to actually use. I have not used him in a while. So you're not going to be seeing the best uh, gameplay that I could possibly uh, have with Trunks. But honestly, I wasn't the best Trunks player either. I've, I've played quite a few that were better than me. But... Yeah, he goes into the brand new BNB for Trunks, and yeah, if you're a Trunks player, I would definitely recommend learning this combo, as it leads into knockdown, it gives good damage, and you can get pressure off of it, or just go straight into the damage. And he's gonna do it right again, I was caught lacking, I was not ready for it, and that's gonna be a dead Trunks for me. And we are completely even right now, two characters, two full health bars, and two sparking limits, and... Here we go, Bardock versus Trunks right now, playing the neutral, um, luckily I had a meter to actually cancel that key blast, and I get that sliding knockdown, I'm just trying to pressure him, now that was a nice move right there, um, I see that a lot sometimes when I am going for uh, that uh, instant air dash jump H, people will uh, backdash in the air to avoid it, and try and catch me slipping, and you know, come down with their own jump H and it, it, it is a counter oh that must have been lag right there that is my special overhead into assist my scrub tactics are strong uh yeah unfortunately I wasn't able to confirm but yeah keep that in mind if sometimes if you feel like your opponent isn't expecting it and you know they go for uh instant air dash jump H on your wake up at all times uh up tech while you're in the corner and uh back dash and I think it avoids it I think don't take my word for it try it out and uh see if it works and um yeah it always catches it always catches me so i'm gonna assume that there's some validity to it and wow he caught me he caught me sleeping right here um once again still in the process of learning how to take those dragon rushes so for sure just keep them coming um now i am actually at the deficit now i'm on my last character bardock versus goku and trunks so um, let's see what we can actually do here. He does his vanish combo get that sliding knockdown. Ooh, he was I, you know I actually felt like he was gonna do it. So that's why I sparked I wanted to get some pressure off of me and Yeah, when you're in sparking you can cancel any of your normals here And I just decided to go ahead and bring trunks in I felt like the trunks assist um, I didn't want to deal with it and I felt like I could kill trunks if I got a hit on him And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here now at this point I realized that I didn't have enough to kill him with one bar so instead of me wasting three bars on him I decided to vanish and do a dragon rush into a super so that I would have just enough to kill him and spend two bars instead of three trying to you know really maximize my resources here instead of just throw them away because I know it's not looking good for me he has a character with sparking um you know I'm just trying to be on the upside in any way that I can and ooh, I was not ready for the Oki there. 
I got caught slipping, and uh, yeah, he, he he opened me up. Now here I am. I'm just. I think I'm trying to play the the go you know go bonkers strategy and try and keep him on his toes. And I just go into level three off of that. And um, yeah, I, I think it worked out for me in that in that situation, but. Definitely not. You don't want to go bonkers all the time. I'm just trying to stay random because I know the situation is pretty dire. And oh, he could have killed me right there. I don't think he was ready for that. And oh, yep. That was the perfect way to finish me off. And that is going to be GG's to my dude, Sa Dude. So we actually run into my dude, Sa Dude, again. And it gives me an opportunity to see if I can adapt. And right off bat, he just he just jumps in with the uh, tick throw setup, and he just has me on the back foot right now, opening me up, opening me up with um, a ting. And yeah, a ting is one of those characters great, great when it comes to pressure, especially when she has an assist, and when she's in the corner, she's doubly as you know effective. So yeah, Android a ting. A lot of people may not be using her right now, but don't sleep on her. She's still a very good character to use, in my opinion. Now, right here, I, man, we're having some bad lag right here. Um, yeah, I can't even say anything. I think maybe I'm getting away with stuff just because of how bad the lag is. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm kind of abusing the lag right now with the uh, with the shenanigans that I'm pulling right now. Because I, when you start feeling the lag. Sometimes you, you do lag tactics where you're like, man, nobody's blocking this in lag. So I think I just got away with some lag tactics there. Now, I did spend my sparking already, and um, I am a big believer in I'd rather have three alive team members with decent health than to have one, one member alive with, you know, level three sparking if I can avoid it. I believe in team synergy a lot. I believe team synergy... It's a lot more dangerous, it's a lot more effective than just the threat of that level 3 sparking. Not to say that there's not a time and place where, you know, you shouldn't let your character die because they have too little health, but I am just a man that believes in, you know, keeping your characters alive as opposed to, you know, focusing on the sparking. But, yeah, here we go here, Trunks versus Goku, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do the, the combo into a knockdown, and obviously I'm going to go for pressure. And yeah, I messed up the timing for the uh, the safe jump, and he was able to get away out of it. And yeah, right there, you'll notice sometimes after doing uh, after I keep someone in pressure in the corner, I'll go for a neutral jump, um, uh, uh, jump M. And that's honestly just me baiting or or fishing for reflect because sometimes people like to mash reflect. And um, yeah, now it is 3v1. Oh, that would have been dirty. Honestly, I've seen Trunks players do that before. Thank God that I always jump back in those situations because that thing has pretty decent range and it does nasty damage if it lands on you raw. And right here, I think I finish him off. And that's crazy. This team hits like a, hits like a truck because truthfully, I don't think many teams would have killed in this situation. And I think I think a lot of that has to do with the uh, the two supers of Bardock and Trunks, where they're just one hit, so the the damage scaling on it isn't that much. Now, what do we have here? We have a Krillin, Tien, and Yamcha player. Um, probably probably a team you don't you see. You expect, but you don't see it too often. At least me, honestly. I think this is uh, one of the few times I've actually seen someone run that team Earthling. But yeah, I actually get a hit in with Krillin. And I go for that side switch so I can maintain that, you know, that screen positioning and have him in the corner. I want that corner pressure. And uh, unfortunately, he, he just raw tagged right there. He just wanted to get Krillin out of there so that he can regain some health. He didn't want to lose Krillin at that point, but unfortunately, it was just a... It was bad timing and a bad call on that type of tag. And I'm going to go ahead and bring Krillin in because I don't want him to rest. I don't want him to get a chance to breathe. And uh, I think this is going to be it. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a Dragon Rush into level 1, level 1. And Bardock is definitely going to be on screen. Now, Tien coming in. Tien, one of those characters, has a pretty good assist. A really good assist, actually. And some crazy damage. They actually buffed his level 1 to be able to do a level 2. And um, 
Yeah, I think they gave him some new properties with his EX version of his, um, man, what you, the volleyball fist? Is that what it's called? Excuse me. But, either way, yeah, wow, it, it's, it's going, he's going down again with that, with that Tien, with the double super, Bardock Trunks, and here we go with Yamcha. Now, Yamcha, an actual really good, uh, anchor, at least in my opinion. And here I am, I'm just gonna try and put the pressure on him. I did that basic mix-up. Um, I started noticing that a lot of people aren't ready for it. Um, Trunks, another one of those guys that I don't think he's too hard to block, truthfully. Especially that, that, that cross-up that, that you see. I think it's just a matter of maybe experience with playing against Trunks. Oh, whoa. And I'm not gonna lie, this is, it's kind of going butt crazy right now with the, with the Wolfing Fist and... Yeah, I think I'm just getting opened up by it, so kudos to him. Uh, he wasted my uh, my X Factor, and yeah, he had the upper hand with that level 3. Now, wow, that was a bad call on my part. Uh, I probably thought that he wasn't going to be able to recover in time, but that was not the right frame of mind for me. And um, yeah, just a lot of this is just going to be, you know, pressure. Now, I did call the Bardock Assist to keep him locked in. As soon as he touched ground, I wanted something touching him so I could get, um, so I can feel something. And we're level one, level one, yep. And I'm most likely gonna do, yeah, gonna do the staircase, uh, block string and just do the overhead, and that's gonna be it for him. BG's no. Now, some of the most detestable characters in the game, at least for me, when it comes to me and dealing with them, uh, Goku Black, Vegito, and Bardock. For me, these are these three of these. Well, all of the this whole team is like some of my worst matchups for me personally because I just have a hard time with them. Uh, fortunately, I was able to get my hands on that black, and uh, he did not confirm off of that uh, that tag in with uh, Vegito. So unfortunately, he was not able to capitalize. Now I'm not even gonna worry about the Goku black because um, I have a much more difficult time dealing with Vegito just because of the five L always catches me. I guess it's because of my playstyle and I'm not looking out for it, so it is something I need to look out for. So I definitely wanted to keep an eye on Vegito, but when I have the pressure going, I will most likely always just keep keep it in the mix because momentum is a big thing for me. If I have good momentum going, I'd rather keep it going rather than tag out and reset it. And here, this should be a dead Broly. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. You know, I, I completely forgot this guy DC'd. Now, we actually run into this guy once again, and I think he actually started the last match that I played with him in the same exact way, and I didn't necessarily understand why he did that, but now I saw why, because if he caught me with that solar flare, I was going to get hit by the assist, and he was going to be able to confirm off of it, so yeah, that that is pretty smart. You, you re There's really no downside to doing it other than... um. Well, actually, yeah, there's really no downside to that uh, immediately match start. It's really just, it keeps me in check. Now, he does a B&B &B into uh, that super. And uh, he, oh, yeah, I almost got caught by that volleyball fist. And I think I crossed myself up. I jumped in the corner by mistake, and uh, he was able to punish it. And here we go. Now, seems like he's really trying to... Uh, whittle me down and get damage in whenever he can because it's kind of unusual to see somebody using uh supers so much in dragon ball fighters you know back to back when it's definitely not going to kill the character you normally don't see someone use a level one super just to get damage when you see someone use a level one super it's normally to try and kill them level threes are the only time i see someone use a super when it's not going to kill and that's because of the the Oki and the massive damage and the potential to kill if you uh if you make your opponent guess wrong and are able to open them up. But here we go, I'm actually able to open up Yamcha and I have this combo going. I get Trunks out of there so that he can recover some blue health. And yeah, as you saw right there on sometimes on um wake up I will mash my my auto combo on you. Uh just to see just to keep you honest, see if you're pressing buttons. And I don't know if you guys noticed right there, but as soon as he sparked, I immediately just started mashing auto combo with Bardock because number one, it's very good. And number two, people have the tendency to not respect you as soon as they go into sparking. So I kind of wanted to send the message like, no, buddy, you're not going to get away and bully me by going into sparking. And I literally just killed off his sparking uh, by wasting time. And uh, 
I tested his gangster with like those five overheads right there. Unfortunately for him, he was not very gangster because he literally got hit with like five jump H's in a row. Uh, definitely not saying anything wrong. I was just testing his gangster and uh, we got to step it up right there. Uh, we got to step it up there, my dude. But yeah, I did a level three and right here, I think I am just trying to really fill him out because I know he's being careful. Um, baiting him out with the reflect once again with that jump M into key blast. And yeah, I think he, he just didn't know what to do right here. GG's, my guy. Now, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Once again, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more of this stuff, still in that trial period, trying to see where people's heads is at and where the interest is at. If you're interested and you want to see more of this type of stuff on the channel, make sure you like the video and make sure you comment letting me know because that is how I am gauging the interest and deciding whether or not if I should be continuing this series. Either way, thank you guys for rocking with me. I appreciate the support, guys. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe if you wanted to see more of my content. And make sure to hit the notification bell. Even if you aren't new here and you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell so you can make sure to get all the notifications of when my content goes live. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. And until next time, Space Cowboys.